All right, we have another video, another math video from MathGuy.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. All right, so we're going to be taking a look at uh, this video, and uh, it's going to tell us about solving systems of equations. Now, there are several methods for solving systems of equations. Uh, we have talked about others in previous videos, um, but this one is going to be talking about the substitution method. Now, the substitution method is one where uh, you're, you're putting in an expression for a variable. Uh, let's start with the specifics. Let's say we have an equation, a uh, system of equations where, oops, for some reason, i got to get my pen to work. Here it is. Uh, so let's see, we get 5x minus 4y minus 4y equals negative 6. Uh, let's say we have another one. y equals 2x minus oh, plus 3. So let's say we're charged with the task of having to figure out where do these two linear equations cross. And uh, of course we would want to know what is the ordered pair of that point of intersection. So Here's a method for the substitution method that helps us find it. Well, the first thing we have to do is realize that uh, one of our equations has to be solved for a letter. Now, I'm kind of friendly here. I'm kind of starting with an equation that already has a letter uh, alone. So you can see that the y value is uh, already solved. In other words, we're solved for a y you could have an equation that's solved for x, but in this case it's just solved for y. So we're starting off with one equation already solved for a letter, which puts us in a good spot. Uh, so all we're going to have to do right now is take this expression, and then we're going to have to substitute it or replace it in the second, or first, actually it's the first equation, we're going to replace it here for y. So we're going to take this expression, 2x plus 3, we're going to substitute it, for this y value because they're the same. I could replace one for the other. All right, so I'm going to do that. So in other words, I'm going to rewrite the equation 5x minus 4 times y equals negative 6. So notice that I haven't plugged in anything there yet because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this expression and I'm going to plug it right in there. So I'm going to take that Let's see, 2x plus 3, 2x plus 3, and we're going to multiply it through. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do at this point is I'm now going to do the distributive property, and I'm going to multiply everything through. So I'm going to multiply the negative 4, and you know, for the sake of... Uh, you know, I guess it's, I should point this out, that this, this is a minus 4. And I guess I could show it a little bit more clearly if I make that plus a minus, or taking the opposite. So if I make that a positive sign, I have to change that to the opposite. So it really is a negative 4 that I'm multiplying through the parentheses. So i got to take negative 4 times 2x. i got to take negative 4 times 3. I have to multiply those throughout. All right, so let's see. I'm going to have the 5x here, that's for sure. And I also have multiplication going on here. i got to take negative 4 times 2x. That would be a minus 8x. i got negative 4 times 3. That's a minus 12. All right, so I multiplied through. Negative 8, negative 12, got that. And here I got that negative 6 bringing that down. So I just did the distributive property there. And now I'm going to combine some like terms. So I'm going to combine those two together. And if I do that, I'm going to get a negative 3x. So I have the minus 12 and a minus, oops, and a minus 6. Okay, so I'm going to make that a minus 6. All right, now you can see this is a really simple linear equation. Obviously, to cancel the minus 12, I add 12 to both sides. Okay, so what do I get? I get negative 3x. The 12 and the negative 12 cancel. 
and I get a positive 6 over here when I add negative 6 and 12 to get rid of the negative 3 since I'm multiplying negative 3 times x. The opposite would be to divide both sides by negative 3. Okay, so you can see the 3's uh, here, the negative 3 and the negative 3, they cancel. So you divide here and get negative 2. Alright, so we have part of the solution. Now uh, our solution is going to be x and y. Remember our solution is always an ordered pair, an x and a y value. So we already have our x value, now we're just searching for this y value. So we're going to plug in this negative 2 into one of these two equations. And I think it's pretty obvious to see that the easier of the two equations to substitute would be this one. So uh, I'm going to take that negative 2 and I'm going to plug it right in there for x. It's just the easier one to plug in. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm going to rewrite this, this equation. y equals 2 times x plus 3. And again, in place for x, I'm putting in negative 2. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply 2 times negative 2. Get negative 4. And I'm going to add 3. So I'm going to add those two together. And I'm going to get negative 1. So my y value is negative 1. And that's my solution. So the solution to this problem is negative 2, negative 1. And that's where these two linear equations, if you were to graph them, that's where they would meet or intersect. And that's the solution. So if you're looking for this lesson online, it is available on MathGuide.com. Also make sure you check out our other videos from MathGuide.com. All right, take care.